The new course that I'm working on right now is building the same app in Laravel and Symfony. This course will answer a lot of questions and I don't believe that there is such a course available on the internet right now. At the end of this course you will be able to use Laravel and Symfony, you will be able to understand the difference between the two frameworks. Laravel has some positives and negatives and the same applies for Symfony. This course will help you to understand these frameworks better and help you to choose the right framework on your next project. In this course we are going to build an Indeed clone. Indeed is a job listing website and as you can see I have already started working on this project. Some of the features that we are going to build are the following. So I have set up this landing page, the domain is laravel or symphony.com and you can see the features in this landing page right here. Remember that this is still under development, I have not completed the course, I'm just brainstorming and of course at the same time I'm also building the application. So some of the features are the following. We have search, we have simple and advanced search. So simple or basic searching is just search by title and location and then we have some advanced searching. This is the jobs uh, listing. This is where the advanced search will be implemented, but as you can see right now it is very very basic, we just have the location, include remote and some uh, sorting. Of course I will add more options later, options such as searching by company name or searching by salary and experience and so on. Another feature will be of course authentication, we will have authentication using email and password and social authentication using maybe Facebook and Google. For this system we are going to have two roles, employers and users. Employers will be able to view applications, to accept an application or reject an application. They will be able to also create, update, delete jobs and of course view all the jobs that they have submitted and view a single job. For example, this is all the jobs for the user, for the end user to go and apply and if I go to create, this is what the employer can use in order to post a new job. And another thing that we have available is viewing a single job, this is what a single job looks like. And of course the user will be able to apply for a job and once we click that we can have like a basic description just to get the attention of the employer and we can also upload uh, the resume, the CV and then we can also favorite this job listing in order to maybe see it later or maybe we can recommend it to a friend. And of course the employer will be able to update this listing, this job listing. What else? Well, these are the options for the employer. As we said, the user will be able to apply for a job and the user can also view all the submitted applications, delete a submitted application, view jobs, view a single job, etc, etc. Now what about payments, because payments is like very very common nowadays for a lot of websites. So we are going to build, we are going to use two types of payments. One is single payments and subscription based payments. This is for the employer, so whenever the employer wants to add a single job listing they can use a single payment or if they are a big company and every month they add like 5 or 10 job listings then they can actually subscribe in order to save some money. Real-time features, again another very important feature in today's applications, a lot of applications nowadays use real-time features, we are going to see how to do that in Laravel and Symfony and of course TDD. TDD, well very very important step, we already have a course on DevLob for TDD but that course is only for Laravel, let me quickly get that. If you are a Laravel developer then you can actually take a look at this course APIs in Laravel using TDD. Anyways, let's now continue. 
Of course, we are going to use some front-end libraries. We're going to use Vue.js and React.js, not at the same time because it doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to show you how to use both Vue and React.js. And then we have deployment, another important topic. We will cover that too, and we will do that using Travis CI. And I believe that this is everything for now. As I said, this is still work in progress. If you want to add something else, you can send me an email at renato at develop.com. If you are already registered on develop, then you will get an email the moment the course goes live. You don't have to subscribe. However, if you do not want to become a develop member and you don't want to register on develop for whatever reason, then you can add your email here and you will get uh, an email the moment the course goes live. I suggest you check this website, this Laravel or Symfony.com website, once a week because this is not the final outline. I will update it whenever I think of a new feature or when you guys send me a nice feature to include, I will include it and you can actually see once a week the updated version for this outline.